Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Four Color Films video. Today we're going to be talking about the Berkeley Comic Con, which was back in its regular location on San Pablo Avenue at the Berkeley Adult School. So it was a much bigger venue, uh, a lot easier to navigate as one larger room. Uh, the one before was at a different location, it's much smaller, a little bit more difficult to get around. So this one was nice to have it back to where it should be, which is a larger room. And, uh, a lot of good selection of vendors there and uh, a lot of good books to comb through. So we're buying uh, a few things. Let's see what we got today. First up, number Thor number 118, which is my second copy of this comic. But the first one I got, I picked up at, uh, I think, somewhere in Sacramento. And it had a big rip in the destroyer. So I want to get another one to replace that one. So it's another nice mid-range copy at a fair price. Pick up this copy of Black Knight. The series is picking up a little heat now with the impending Kit Harrington as the Black Knight in Eternals. And uh, even though it's not his first appearance, it is uh, one of the first uh, solo limited series he's ever done. So it's, it's picking up a little bit of heat, so I picked it up for cheap price. First spider armor in this lovely holographic cover. Which you can probably see there a little bit. Uh, real cheap price. Got a nice deal on this from. Uh, Actually, from a viewer, so was, uh, I didn't get his name, so I'll have to make sure I track that down later on. But uh, it was nice if he gave me a good deal, and that it was only a couple of bucks, which is great. I'd like to pick this one up too, again, for Sprints of the Rose, super obscure uh, Spider Man villain, but uh, I'd like to buy, pick it up when it's a good deal. This was like only a few bucks. I think uh, Harvey Doss had this on sale. Uh, everything in his, he bought a lot of comics, a lot of bins, a lot of back issues. And it ended up being a really cheap copy because it was like 50% off this price, which is great. Same with this one, which is the first appearance of the female Doc Ock, who actually is featured in the Spider-Man uh, animated movie, uh, Into the Spider-Verse. And then uh, Harvey also had these issues, which is 20 and 21 of Master Kung Fu. So that brings me down to only one more issue and then i'll have a complete run of 100 uh, 1 to 125 rather of master kung fu so getting really close now our vendor had a nice couple of silver age uh, justice league issues so i picked up this the first appearance of the queen bee which is a villain you've never heard about either but uh i want to have it anyway because it's nice uh, you know me and our first appearances gotta have it so there it is great looking color cover great looking colors too he also had this issue, which is a uh, first appearance of the Black Hand, uh, which I think mine is a really low grade copy. So I need to look at that again, but I, I think it was. And so I want to get a slightly better copy, which is this definitely is. It's very punchy. His spine is really good. He got it from a collection in Berkeley and said that he was really surprised by how well kept these books were, uh, given how they were stored, which apparently was terrible, but a uh, lovely copy. And then House of Comics, I picked up a couple of books from him, which is so I've got a great eye and keeping the good stuff and Swamp Thing 2, which I think is might be my second copy, but it's a great uh, edition of it. First appearance of uh, Anton Arcane in this book. You also had for me X-Men 66, which is a first appearance of the Savage Land. Which I, I think, I'm not sure, it makes sense to me because I think the first Kazar is in issue 10. So I don't know how the first Savage Land is in issue 66, but uh, uh, 62, but I'll have to verify that. But still, great cover though. First champions from him as well too. Great team up, all these awesome uh, B tier heroes all together in one place, and the first uh, first issue of it. So great, great deal. First warlock as warlock in the actual book of his own. So another good pickup. Great issue, really good condition. He also had this too, which is I I have this issue already slabbed, but I got it as restored because I was. Not very smart about getting that comic, and I love this comic so much because it's a great Neil Adams cover, and it's the first appearance of Havoc uh, in the book as Havoc. And I mean, just look at that. I mean, like so dramatic. It's such a great use of like uh, just flat color, and it's capsuling the X Men inside. Like it's just such a, a standout cover. I really love this one, so I want to have a good version that I can get slapped again. Hopefully, uh, you maybe a higher grade than my six point oh restored. And I'll be really pleased about that. So hopefully. That comes back really nice. And then down the line, found one vendor that actually had this is actually from Lee's Comics. He had 
lovely number 18, which is, uh, I'm done now. So I have a full run of Master Kung Fu, which is like super awesome. So that run is complete. Most of them are pretty like, you know, fair to very good condition maybe. But this is actually a really nice uh, copy of this comic and I'm just happy to pick it up at a, at a good price. Which I picked up a couple other ones to go with it. So I got this uh, <laughs> first appearance of Big Wheel, which is again, terrible, terrible the, the C tier villain. But I mean, come on I and mean, look at that thing. That thing's ridiculous. But I love me some ASM uh, first appearances and so I had to get that one. But uh, the biggest one I got, I think, was probably this issue, which is not what I paid for it, but uh, it's an issue that's taking quite a bit of heat lately, which is the first appearance of Norman Osborn in continuity. And so I was missing this issue from my early AS ASM run, and now I've got it. So it's a very crazy cover with a split split uh, split attacks. It's pretty dramatic looking. It's too bad Norman's not on the cover, but again, he just says first appearance as himself. So that makes more sense to be focused on the villain instead. So great issue to have and then go and have in the collection. All in all, it was good to, to be at the Brooklyn Comic Con. Some really good vendors there. It was tough to make some choices. And there were some really beautiful books being shown there as well, too. So I look forward to the next one. If you haven't, please take the time to subscribe. It really helps uh, this channel. And I appreciate all the people who have already done that. And uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.